So I want to ask the question, figure of the year so far, and it doesn't have to be hot toys. However, I will share and I'll, I'll pull this up a little bit larger. Uh, so we're going to go over basically the figures that have been released thus far by hot toys in 2023. And again, I want to ask the question, what is the figure of the year thus far for you? And it, again, it does not have to be hot toys. This is just what I've been, I've not cataloged every single figure, that, figure that's been released because that would literally take me <laughs> forever. Or like it would be way too much, you know, manpower there. But I will say, Kiko, you're probably going to agree with me. I, well, I won't give my answer because I don't want to spoil Kiko's. Kiko, what is the figure of the year thus far for you? And again, it does not have to be Hot Toys, one six scale figure, one six scale figure of 2023. And guys, let us know in the comments below, what is your figure of the year for 2023 thus far? Kiko, what's yours? I'm going Game of Thrones season eight, Sandor the Hound. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> wow. I'm just looking at him, but that's I do. A, that's a bold prediction. Love, <laughs> I do love that new uh, the Hound. He's he's fantastic. Is it really though. good? Because I've seen he's that kind great. of mixed. Yeah, like the hair he's looks kind of weird in some photos, and then good in some others. No, my, I yeah. love mine. He, he's great. But anyway, have, okay. Oh. What's what's that, Dean? I was gonna say, do you have uh, the first one? I, see, I every time I could never get the right price on it, and it would just go through the roof every single time. I want the one with the exclusive hound head, and oh, I was yeah. like, I'm not paying five, six hundred bucks for this. And then I got one for like two fifty, and I'm like, eh, and I missed it, and I should have pulled it on that one. But no, I just settled mm -hmm. with that one. He's sitting with Aria right now. Nice. Anyway, um, so, back, the hound, back the so the hound is your answer. <laughs> no, the, the hound is not my answer. Um, but so last month. I was pretty much all in on what if Infinity War Ultron. I love that figure. He's big in hand. He feels so good. Uh, the the options to have, oh. you know, uh, <laughs> he felt so good in my hand. It was, yeah. it, it was so firm. He's and, so big and feels guys, good. Guys, uh, someone man. please clip this one out for Kiko. <laughs> yeah. And also, Ultron was firm. That, that, he felt that, good. That hole okay. was like 15 inches. It was wild. Um, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, you can spread it out. But in all seriousness, I love <laughs> I love the options to be able to have the vision head or to have the Ultron mask. And as I said, I felt like that was the definitive version of the way that Ultron right. should have or would have looked had he succeeded. And I love that. And I thought that was really cool. Hell of a figure. And then Carnage came. And I think most people, mm -hmm. when you have that big red bastard in your hand, you're like, that doesn't sound good either. Um, <laughs> is that you realize just how good that figure is. Like two years ago, like I told you, Venom was my figure of the year two years ago. He's so much better than Venom. And that's hard to do. Because from the head sculpt to the body to the look, everything is just so good. You can pose him any way you want. The tongue does not have that giant mag black. Oh, that looks even worse. I'm not doing really good here. Um, <laughs> oh, um, the, the black <laughs> magnet in the back of Venom's mouth. I'm glad that's not on here. But there's just so much with Carnage that he is so imposing. He is so good. And if you get the deluxe, you get the Eddie Brock head to make your Venom even better. It ticks every box. And I am not just saying this. I don't even think Wanda. Yeah, see? I don't even think Wanda will take figure of the year. And I'm not just saying that because I love her. Um, this is going to be a very tough figure to beat. And I know, Will, you will probably say this. I'm very interested to hear what Dean thinks. Um, Cause I don't know if you have Carnage or even one of him. Um, but for me, this hands down is one of the best, not just figures of the year, but one of the best figures I've ever produced. Right. I'm actually <clears throat> with you, Kiko. I can only echo everything that you've said, bro. Like honestly, Carnage is, Look, and I know this is a little bit, um, you know, bold to say, but I will say Carnage to me is the best hot toy that I have ever seen in person. Uh, and I, I'm not trying to be hyperbolic and, you know, a prisoner of the moment here. I legitimately think that this Carnage is the best hot toys that I've ever seen. And it's incredible. I, it's I mean, figure we've seen a so. lot of figures. We've had a lot of figures. I, have. I got a lot of figures. And to be able to yep. definitively say that without sounding silly. Definitive. You know, yeah. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking great. Anyway, Dean, what's your figure of the year though thus far for 2023, bro? Figure of the year thus far is a figure punching way above its weight class. A Three zero hound. Company that has no <laughs> business being on a figure of the year list. Star Ace. Oh my god, here it's we go. It's Mondo, isn't it? It's Mondo. Mars Toys. Prank villain. Okay, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, okay. That figure is 
insane. And I don't even have <laughs> any attachment to the 60s Batman movie, show, this character, this version of the Joker. But you get three head sculpts, so many accessories, and the head sculpts are amazing. Yeah, they're, also, they're pretty they're, amazing. Yeah, it's not like it's not a good-looking figure. The tailoring is immaculate. And I think it retailed for like under 180 or yeah, like something. 160. Yeah, right. Insane. This figure <laughs> is fucking literally ticking all the boxes. It's brutal. The competition this figure brings out of nowhere. Again, from Mars Toys. Like, who, you know what I mean? Like, they have some other figures, but it's like they were okay. This figure came out insane, absolutely insane. I I think it's. Do so you think this is really better than all the Hot to Toys, Dean? So far, I, I do. I, again, I and mean, I know they don't. They're not paying for a license. I was right? gonna say it's an illegal it's, figure, so I don't. It's know an illegal win. figure, but dude, the price point, the quality, and again, all the display options you get, like that's so hard to beat. Three head sculpts? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, this it's, figure. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot. It's a lot. And yeah. Yeah. And I mean, they're really, really great. And they're actually doing a second run of this. It was so popular. So, yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. and look, as great as Carnage is, you know, you got to factor in the price into this, Dean. I mean, Carnage, you're paying like three times as much as you are yeah. for this. So, there's also three I mean, times it, the figure as well. Yeah. 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 It is, dude. It's Carnage, guys. I don't think Kiko again. We can't overstate how good this carnage is. Like it's 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 really good. I was excited to get it in hand, but when I got it in hand on unboxing, I was like, "This thing is fucking phenomenal." It's yeah. really really good. People, I, some people ask me, "Are you worried about the joints or whatever?" You really don't notice them. I promise. You don't. They blend you really into don't. the body. They blend in with the symbiote so nicely. And if you bend the arms at all, it's fine. But even if you don't, like they blend in with the symbiote, it doesn't really matter. I'm glad with Venom they didn't do that because I think with the black joints, it probably would have looked a yeah. little bit weirder. But but with Carnage, it's such a massive thing. And so many accessories, Kiko. So many posing yeah. options. But Dean, well, I like, love this choice. Like Shiny though. said, Carnage doesn't come with the water pistol and beat shorts, though. He does not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does not. So Dean's pick obviously is the winner. So, I yeah. mean, it's, but Dean, you are right in terms of posing options for this one. I mean, you can do a lot with this. Guy. You could buy three um, of these fucking things and still have be cheaper than you'd the, have nine figures. The though, carnage. Dude. So, yeah, I mean, you'd have nine head sculpts. So, yeah. 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 Like, well, I mean, you could, you could have each posing, you know, <laughs> option there. Right. If you wanted right. all three on the shelf, it's like, damn. Uh, I, I think they're also going to do the, the Batman and the Robin. Right, right soon too to to go with this so I saw the tease with Riddler this is, too this is yeah, from yes yeah, this is from 66 batman is it not yeah right right yeah which i have not seen so i you know i yeah i barely I, saw 89 batman <laughs> that's what i was saying like i have no connection to this and this figure blew right. me away yeah. right because we look it's and dope. handle a lot of figures you know literally every week um right. so it's it, to be this impressed, I was like, damn, this it's yeah, it's 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 incredible. Well, that's why I've been excited, Dean, for a lot of the other Mars Toys releases now because of how good this prank villain is. But not that's every Mars win. Toys release well, not every Mars Toys release, Kiko, has been as high quality as this one. Right. Like a lot of the other ones are pretty good, they're solid, but this one is like a new level. Yeah, they did a um uh 89 Joker that was pretty good. Right, they did. Um, especially 89 in, coming with the with the with the beret and the melted face as well. Yeah, right. and the melted yep. face. Yeah, and it, face. if you don't yeah. want to pay those those aftermarket hot toys prices, especially on that Joker, that's a very sought after figure. The Mars toys was a very very solid option. Um, right. Uh, my buddy Manny has one, and it, it's really good. And then you know, this came out, and it's just like goddamn uh, phenomenal. Right. Right. Yeah. Dude, it, it's dude, it's it's such a great figure. One thing I do want to say though, and I, I do, do you have is this we're on the third party topic. This is this is a dark horse, okay? Because this invincible figure, Kiko mid thinks show, it's a mid show, mid but, show. He, but he's wrong. He's wrong. He's it, Kiko's allowed to be wrong at least. I don't like it either. Right? So, what? All right, y'all bitches are both getting kicked because this <laughs> show is incredible, dude. 
for well the last two episodes especially are really really good but the rest of the show i i really enjoyed overall but the last two episodes are, i just think are phenomenal this figure really wowed me in hands but the hands are a bitch though let me just tell you the wrist pegs and the hands fuck those things it's a pain in the ass but i will say you will get them on eventually kiko knows because i dealt with the storm collectible sub-zero and scorpion if i can do those i can do this but you know it, we all those figures have their things right but i will say so so has really wowed me with this figure guys let me just show you the magnets on this thing guys in art please take note because the magnets on this invincible figure are far better i feel than the in art magnets are and i don't know what happened with the development of that or whatever they're solid on the in art this one guys they ain't going nowhere that head is whoop it like if you hold it above the neck it'll literally like want to come down to, to jump on the neck like it's crazy so yeah the wrist pegs are annoying i do agree philip but yeah it i think there's a visible figure unbreakable you can get this guy again for under 200 dollars um remarkable thing not yeah so some so some makes some good stuff yeah they do they do so is it susu i've i've heard either I, I i don't know i i've called them so so but i only have one of their figures so i don't know if i'm allowed to do that but <laughs> so yeah i don't know I, I don't know if i'm on that level with them but hey I like the one figure that you do have, so so or Susu. I'm happy with either one. So, you know, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below about what is the figure of the year thus far for you. And yeah, 